Alright, welcome back to our Shadows Over Innistrad set review. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at all of the red cards in the set. Red. The first card is our mythic, the Gold Knight Castigator. The Gold Knight Castrator. Castrate them all. all right. It's four mana, uh, two and two red, for a flying and haste four nine. Angel. Her ass is enormous. It's I so just, big. I love it. If a source would deal damage to you, it deals double that damage instead. Uh-oh. If a source would deal damage to Gold Knight Castable, it deals double that damage to her instead. Uh-oh. So it's a really, really, really powerful card with a really, really, really huge, huge, downside. huge downside. So here's the thing. Uh, it's essentially as a 4 mana 4-5 <coughs> um, with haste and flying. And it deals double damage to you. I I think it might be good enough. It's close. It's close. Like, the downside to Nine. Not, however, I will say, versus some decks in Constructed, the downside doesn't exist. Nine? Some decks don't want to attack you. Nine, uh, yeah, and nine is a really good number on the toughness, because, like, if you deal four to it, it deals eight. It doesn't, it's not killing it. Well, it also, it's also, like... People are just staring at their two grasp of uh, grasp of uh, darknesses in hand. Like, God damn it! I exactly. can't even kill him with both of these. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nine is nine's the, just the right number to make it kind of okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's right on the limited. border. It's a bomb and limited. You want it in limited? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's you, 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 do, you do want it. Haste. You do want it. I don't know if you want it into a giant. Oh God! So I mean. <laughs> Like, they're, you're going to be dealing with them four in the air turn. They're going to be do, dealing you, like, 12. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really, really, really bad. It's, it, it's really crazy. That's risky. interesting. I mean, you can... If you're the hyper aggro, and you're just like, I don't care what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this card. I like... I kind of like it, though. It's cute. It's fun. It's I like weird. it. I, I, I like it in draft. I like it in seal. I really like it in sealed. Um, yeah. And I like it... For sure. Um... 50-50 on it and constructed, and um, um, poor on it and two it in. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see it's super design. interesting design. I like the design. Here's a mythic that is terrible. In constructed. In constructed, yeah. Uh, wolf of Devil's Breach. Five mana for a 5-5 five, five elemental wolf. When Wolf of Devil's Breach attacks, you may pay one in a red and discard a card. If you do, it deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the discarded card's converted mana cost. Actually, very good in limited. Very, it's, very like, good in limited. Very, very clearly should be a mythic for limited reasons. Five mana, five five is huge. Uh, it's a removal spell every time it attacks. This is the very definition of like a card that is top tier in limited and unplayable trash and constructed. Yes, exactly. I mean, I, I don't think we need to thoroughly explain no. why that card's great in limited. It's yeah. it's always going to be. Great. I don't think we need to say much about it at all. Yeah. Uh, Geiger Reach Bandit. This is a pretty interesting one. It's a 3 mana, 3 2, a human rogue werewolf. Um, this one's a rare. It has haste at the beginning of each upkeep if no spells were cast. Transform it. On its um, flip side, it's a, it becomes a 4 3. And whenever a werewolf enters the battlefield under your control, you may transform it. So if you've got this guy, you can have your other werewolves enter on their wolf side. Pretty pretty good werewolf lord. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's. I mean, I don't think werewolves is a super good constructed deck. I think I know I know some people who are going to be trying it because they it's, like the flavor. Yeah, but I mean, it's a good card. Limited, obviously. I mean, it's three, a three two for three with haste. Haste, ha haste on the three two is, is actually pretty good. Like haste is super underrated. It's, it's probably the best like evergreen ability. Well, yeah, of course it other is. Than, other than uh, maybe like, unblockable or like double, double strike. strike yeah. yeah, but double strike only gets put on shitty cards. Yeah, you don't ever put double strike on anything good. Yeah, that's fair. This one's good. Mm -hmm. This card is a, an uncommon. Geist blast three mana. Geist Blast deals 2 damage to target creature or player, and then you can exile it from your graveyard, basically as flashback, for 2 and a blue, copy target, instant or sorcery, spell you control, and choose new targets. It's a good uncommon. That's, a, that's like an incredibly good uncommon. I really like it. It's really yeah, strong. I mean, I'm, I'm playing this without the blue half of it, to be honest with you. Like, it's yeah, a 3, two, so just, three mana shock. It's not the worst. I mean, it's not a great rate, but it's, it's decent. And the second half of it, like, that's really good in late game. Like, you... So it's basically a two for one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good one. Um, 
Back to Rares, Avacyn's Judgment, two mana. I don't remember what this one does. Madness for X and a red. Avacyn's Judgment deals two damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures or players. If Avacyn's Judgment's Madness cost was paid, it deals X damage divided as you choose among those creatures instead. So obviously, um, I don't think that this is Inspire Sorcery. It is a sorcery. So it's a sorcery. It'd be um, way too good if it was an instant. Well, it is an instant because there's madness. Um, uh, yeah, like that's that's yeah. Huh. So the thing that's of it is, is uh, obviously, combat. if you can't madness this card, it's pretty. I mean, it's fine and limited. It's two mana. Yeah, it's fine, fine. And fine and limited. Like you're gonna play this card even if you don't have any madness. When you have madness, though, like. This card is ridiculous. It's probably one of the best versions of the set. It's yeah. an instant speed rolling <laughs> thunder that costs one less mana. It's really good. It's really, it's like ridiculous. That's uh, a rare that you want to have in your sealed deck. <laughs> yeah, or your draft deck or yeah. any deck. I'd first pick that card. Next up is Falcon Wrath Gorger. This is the vampire deck's one drop. Yeah. A really good one. Great one card. mana for a 2 1. Each vampire creature you can. Creature card you own. That isn't on the battlefield has madness. madness. For its converted mana cost, right? Yes, yes, for its converted mana cost. Really? It is a 2 1 for 1 with an upside. It fits the tribal theme for your vampire deck. I mean, people have been talking about it. Red doesn't get two mana two, one, 1 mana 2 1s with, with, with the, uh, upside. They only get them with downside. They got a, it's like that, uh, that Seder or whatever it was called. It was so away, bloody awful. It was really bad, but they played it. Yeah. It's all played because it's a, a two, it's a one minute two one. Yeah. Um, this, this, this card, this, this card is much better than that. Um, another card that makes Drana better. Um, yeah. like, I mean, we can say this is obviously very good for constructed. I think this pushes the, the vampires deck straight into playability. Um, and here's for, the heavens. For cons- <laughs> For uh, for limited, fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. For limited, it's, it's like okay. it's a zero one to one. In limited, you're like, oh, that's my rare. This is this is the card where some poor bastard opens like three or four of these in their sealed pool <laughs> and goes, all of my rares were the one drop. <laughs> <laughs> you could make a sweet aggro deck though, just like <laughs> just curve tops out at like three. Yeah, just get them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then, it's, it's fine and limited. I mean, the upside is, is real, but, like, you're, you're not going to be shitting your pants. No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Reasonable fifth pick and limited. Up next is Ulrich's Kindred. Three mana for a 3-2 wolf with trample. You can pay four, the, the, uh, three and a green target attacking wolf or werewolf games indestructible. If you've got the werewolves, it's pretty good. And if you don't, it's a 3-2 three, for 3, and that's pretty okay. Well, if, you, if you're Gruul, if you're Red Green, I mean, it makes itself indestructible with the very worst. Um, and has Trample inherently as well. Yeah, has Trample inherently. For what little that's worth on the 3 And then, uh, yeah, I mean, the, again, I say it a lot, but the threat of activation is often yeah. more, it's more than the sum of its parts. So this card's probably, it's, it's, it's good in the Red Green, it's in the Red Green deck. Mm-hmm. Next is Gibbering Fiend. Do you want me to take this? Yeah, you can go for him. Alright, Jimmy Fiend is a 2 mana 2 1, 1 to red. Uh, it's a devil creature type. When it enters the battlefield, yeah, deal 1 damage to each opponent. Each opponent, mind you, for 2 of the giant. Uh, Delirium, at the beginning of your upkeep, if there are 4 more card types in your graveyard, it deals 1 damage to. Oh, I'm sorry. Each opponent's upkeep for Delirium, it deals 1 damage to that player. Again, 2 of the giant. Good card for 2 of the giant. Is it's it good. common or uncommon? It's uncommon. Okay. I think this is the worst of the cycle uh, yeah, of this yeah. Uh, Delirium Uncommons. Um, yeah, I do too. I it's mean, it's a two, decent, it's a two mana two once a Goblin Piker decent. with that hits them for one and sometimes hits them for extra damage. I mean, it's it's fine. It's it's a it's a two drop that has a semi relevant ability in the late game. You're not going to be screaming at this. It's not going to be a first pick. It's it's fine two drop in your aggressive red decks. Yeah. Uh, next one. Vessel of volati- Volatility, um, the red half of your, your vessels here. Um, one to red enchantment. Uh, you can pay one to red and sacrifice this to add four red mana to your mana pool. I want to ask, mm-hmm. is this modern playable? No. Darn it. In what way would this be modern playable? Because you just pop it and get a billion mana. I guess. I mean, it, it's it's like a terrible mana morphos that doesn't draw a card. I don't know what that card is. <laughs> it's, I mean, Metamorphose is uh, 
one one in a one in a red or a green. Um, pin, put put two men of any color into your mana pool. Draw a card. Oh wow! So wow. it's it's, a, it's it's zero mana <laughs> draw a card, and fix your mana. Um, this card is not that. This is four. That's four red. Um. Yeah, I, and for for limited purposes because I I don't think this card snips constructed. Um. If you have sweet five drops that you want to play on turn on turn three, uh, maybe you play this. Otherwise, I don't think this is very good. I, yeah. I mean... No, I, look, I, I don't play that. I wouldn't play that effect in most of my draft yeah. decks. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the uh, at the like Dark Ritual effects and Limited, if you look and say, w is this better as a land? Most of the time, it pretty much is. Yeah. If it's better, you should probably have like an 18th or 19th land in your deck. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not very good. Like, it it literally does nothing. You could play it and activate it on the same turn, and you did nothing. <laughs> Discard a card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not not great. I think that's the worst of the Vessel Cycle. For um, sure. Here's a decent card that may have Double Strike. Um, Scourge yeah. Wolf. Uh, two and a red. It's a rare for a wolf horror creature. Such a weird rare. Just, like, flavor-wise, it's just a wolf. It's just a wolf. It's a wolf but it's super sporty. Being a wolf. It's a horror wolf, though. It's like the Resident Evil dogs. Okay. Yeah, it don't, it don't look like it. Fuck oh, okay. It does. It's more melty it's, than it's I It's pretty melty, dude. <laughs> it's pretty melty. All right, so this is two red for a 2 2. First strike. Already reasonable. I mean. Good and limited. Yeah, go, good good and limited. Good. Uh, delirium. Uh, it gets double strike. Two mana double strike 2 2. Is a ridiculous card. So if you can get that reliably, I mean, yeah. I, I could see this being in uh, Red Deck wins. Uh, I mean, it's no as a lot. I would call it doubtful, but possible. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, eh, too much future first strike is actually you know it, it's reasonable. Um, like I said, if you can uh, enable the delirium, that's a big game. Yeah, like, double double strike's a huge ability. Yeah. Um. We'll Again, see. good and fine and draft. I mean, yeah, sli definitely. slightly awkward mana, but here's one. The Red Dark Confidant. The Red Bob. Rob. <laughs> it's, Rob. <laughs> oh, it's this guy. It's, it's this guy. It's the Vexing same Vexing Devil's brother. Yeah, he's super Vexing Devil, except he looks nothing like him. Uh, except he looks exactly like him. Shush. All right, uh, so he's a three mana, three two with Menace. Devil creature type. Um, this one's cool. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. Any opponent may have you put that card into your graveyard. If that player does, it deals damage to them equal to that card's converter mana cost. Otherwise, you put that card in your hand. So it's just like Vexing Devil in, in that like and it, it has a super punisher. Ability. It has a super punishy ability, but get but isn't great because it gives your opponent the choice. That's what I was well. <laughs> the pun is, punisher ability means your opponent gets the choice. That's oh, what I, it, thought, that's, I thought you. you I, thought you just meant like punishing like it's, no, it's yeah, like yeah. it's a really powerful it is punishing too thing. because like it, it's, the, it's the punisher mechanic which is like the brow beats and the the um desecration demons and the stuff like that uh yeah i mean you, you give your opponent a choice would they take whichever one is worse for them at the time except both options are pretty bad for them you know this this is i mean it's three minus three two minus which is not nothing it's yeah. not on a nothing body no um and it has a chance to give you card advantage. If not, it's burning them. So, oh, I like this card. This card's like ten bucks. Yeah, it's. I, I can so see. So is Vaxing I, Devil. <laughs> sorry, sis. All right. Yeah, I, I can see this being constructed limited. You always Definitely. play this. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is like a slamming on the on the table first pick, but it's it's, it's pretty freaking good. It's a It's a first pick. Yeah, like from I'm a very comfortable. medium pack. Yeah, I'm comfortable picking this over most of the uncommons. Yeah. Um, Here's the next one. It's another rare. Burn from within. Uh, X and a red sorcery. Burn from within deals X damage to target creature or player. If the creature is dealt damage this way, it loses indestructible. And if that creature would die, exile it instead. It's cool. a it's it's good. It's it's a very boring card it's super that we've boring. seen a million it's, times. It's, it's I super have boring, nothing to say about it. It's also super good. I mean, it's a red. It's it. It, the fact that it goes to the face pushes this over the edge and limited. Like you're, you're oh, always yeah. playing oh, this yeah. card. That's this is what makes it like a first. That's pick. a damn first pick. That yeah. is pack yeah. one, pick one. Super no matter Here's, what. Here, I think, is another first pick. Although it's it's an odd mechanic. Um, Devil's Playground, six mana sorcery. Put four one one red gob red devil creature tokens on the battlefield. 
Yeah, when this creature dies, deal one damage to target creature or player. Six mana for four power? Six, yeah, well, six mana for four power spread across four bodies that when they die, you get to ping something. I think that's pretty mediocre. Really? I, I think it's playable, but I wouldn't call I could it see I could see you killing three or four creatures with this. Really? It's like, I, don't, I don't know. It's I'm basically really eight, it's basically eight damage spread spread across their entire team, or it's like a four power unblockable creature. Well, or like I mean, I I, I feel like this card is like it's it's, it's 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 I don't know. I think this is probably going to be better than the sum of a, some of its parts. Will well. well I'll call this one and we'll wait and see how it feels yeah. to have it in your limited deck. Yeah, I mean, it may just be, like, stone unbeatable, and it just may be, like, stone way too clunky. I, I think it's I think it's doofy. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one. I think it's pretty good. Um, all right, here, here's one that is probably just ridiculous. Um, Flame Blade Angel. Six mana for a 4-4 four, four flying. Um, whenever a source an opponent controls oh, it's deals totally damage... Happy. Yeah, it's super interesting. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> source, an op tell. source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, you may have Flame Blade Angel deal one damage to that source's controller. What are its numbers? It's a four. Six four, mana, four. four four flying. So it's good basically, it yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's, nothing it's, constructed. It's a zero in constructed. It's all there is to say. In great unlimited, I mean, this is actually a super like weird card. It's kind of odd, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's simple, but so weird. they can. Like they, if they attack you, they take damage. If they block, if you block, if they block, or if you block them, they take damage. No matter what, they're taking damage. Like it's just, I don't know. It, it seems it's like simple, it's simple, but it's weird. It's it's, it's it's both. It's it's at the same time simple and like kind of awkward to talk about because it's like oddly worded and. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good card. It's, it's a, a dragon. Liar. It's like a four-four dragon. It's yeah. a dragon angel. Yeah. Could have just said angel. Nope, dragon. Okay. <laughs> All flyers are dragons. All right. Harness the storm. It's a three mana enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast target card with the same name as that spell from your graveyard. This is an. It's a commander card. card. Yeah. This is. Wait, no, no it's, it's not. not. It's not. It's, it's not, not the worst like... commander card that's ever been. It's <laughs> like it's one of those. It's one of those like. Your buddy that's always brews up the super weird decks is like, ah, I'm like, ah, I love this freaking card. I, I know some people are pretty excited about this one. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's weird. A um, weird ass card. Really good in Commander. <laughs> yeah, it's super good in Commander. Uh, I don't know. Like, it, I mean, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, they, they've, they've done similar cards to this before. Um, slightly more aggressively costed. I think they were pretty clearly like, let's play it safe with this one because. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't see this card quite getting there. Obviously, it's fucking trash I'm not. Ex I'm not excited about it. It's <laughs> trash in draft, and I don't think it's great in construct. That's another one of those cards where, like, the poor sad guy gets, like, four of them mm -hmm. in his sealed pool and goes, I don't have any bombs because all of my rares were... <laughs> Harness the storm. Harness the storm. At least the guy with the four one-drops is like, hey, I got, like... Twenty dollars value here, <laughs> or the, yeah, the, or the guy that the guy that gets six lands. Yeah, like, yeah. I, my deck is horrible, but I got six six dollar yeah, cards. Yeah, got there. Because <laughs> there's always that guy too. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to take this one? Sure, go for it. I'm also a little bit surprised that the lands are pre-ordering so cheap. Because like they're going to be our lands for, bucks. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be our lands for standard for the year. Yeah, they're fairly sure. good. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Um, we've got Kessig, Forge Master. Two mana, two one. Whenever Kessig, Forge Master blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, de uh, it deals one damage to that creature. Always like that effect. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast, you transform it into a 3-2 um, Flame Heart Werewolf. The art on that side is sweet. Kind of looks like an alligator, though. They look like an alligator. It's a wolf alligator. It's cool. You don't know. <laughs> Whenever it blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, a flame heart werewolf deals two damage to that creature. And what's its stats? What it's a sound? three two. Three two. Okay. That's strong. Yeah, strong card. I like that one. Strong card. Definitely, definitely good. Um, yeah, I mean, punishes one toughness creatures. Um, 
But this one's pretty good with combat tricks. Like that that's the one where they like all right, they send a couple guys in front of it or something and then you just blow them out. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I like that one. Favorite yeah. uncommon. Favorite uncommon. Oh yeah. Skin invasion. It's really good. One mana for an uncommon enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature attacks each combat if able. When enchanted creature dies, return skin invasion to the battlefield, transformed under your control. And then, on its flip side, it's the skin shedder. And it is just a 3-4. So just a, a thing. So it's, it's a, a one mana removal spell and a 3-4. It's so it's strong. It's like, it's like a mythic uncommon. This is one of the mythic uncommons where you just like... I don't care what my rare is here. I'm going to pay this. one to kill your guy and get my 3-4. Assuming you have any type this of blocking. is blocking creature. constructed playable. Could be. It definitely could be. I mean, I keep getting confused by these these red cards. Because this is, this is probably not uh, an aggro card. So much as it is a mid-range card. Because you're not blocking with your aggro deck. But, so, like... I mean, it, it takes away one of their blockers. It... it Forces a smaller creature to just trade to, to eat, get eaten by one of yours, and it's a three four for one mana. Like I don't know, it, it seems it seems ridiculous. I want me. my foils. Like I want I want I want foils of this to stick in my binder just in case it's as good as I think it might be. Yeah, I think it, I think it's actually very good. <laughs> I'm really excited about skin invasion. I, I'd it's one of my favorite pick, cards. I first in picked the set. that over most of the rares in the set. I think. Yeah. Um. Next up is dissension in the ranks. So the guy, like, the church guy, like, strangling the night guy or stabbing him yeah, in the throat. Yeah, if you, if you read the flavor text, it's something like, uh, oh, it happened out of nowhere. We were, like, we were buddies one second, he's trying to choke me the next. Five mana for an instant target blocking creature fights another target blocking creature. I love this. I love, I don't think we've ever seen that exact we effect. We've never so, seen that. We it's actually, funny. It's yeah, really funny. It's really funny. It's like, cute. So, like, Usually these wonky combat tricks are like relatively easy to play around because they're so expensive and that's five mana. But this is something an instant that you're gonna play on your turn only. Yeah. So if they play around it you by like not blocking, you're like, okay, I play my creature. Yeah. <laughs> like instead. Like so that. like, I like this one uh lot. you can only really play around this by uh blocking with one creature. And like I don't know, but that's otherwise it's I mean, you're you're probably pretty rarely going to get the straight two for one. You're probably going to get a two for two because one of the blocking creatures is going to die to this card, and the other one's just going to die in combat. Yeah, and it's, exactly. so it's, you're going to trade your like two two for their four four and their three four, and it's going to be great. Um, Next up, we've got Malevolent Whispers. It's, I like the art on this one too. This guy is like so creepy. Looks like fucking Gary Busey. Um, <laughs> <It does. laughs> four mana. For a sorcery, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gets plus two, plus oh, and gains haste um, with madness for four. So madness for it's exactly the same. It's fine. It's, a, it's fine. It's always it's, it's, we've had this card before without and madness, it's, and, and it's, it's been, always fine. It's, it's always just fine. fine. Your non-aggressive decks need not apply, but yep. in your aggro decks. Good card. And, and they go cards. they go so late in draft. Yeah, like, and they you should, do because not, not need to prioritize. If you want one of these for your deck, do not prioritize it. It'll come back. Yeah, and they <laughs> shouldn't, because it's not like it's exactly. not your premier card. Exactly. It's, it's fine card he plays a one of. Um, Inner Struggle is four mana for an instant target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. That's a really good removal spell. Yeah, I ran the numbers on this because I was curious. There are 37 creatures that don't die to this spell. In this in this format, that's a lot more than I expected. Um. Okay. So there's probably I I haven't run the numbers. So this is this is creatures with toughness higher than their power. Yes, toughness higher than their power. Now let me be clear. I don't know how many creatures in the format. There's a lot more than thirty-seven. There's probably like there are close to hundred. Um. Well, it's not a couple hundred. A couple on three. There are three thousand creatures in this set. There are. There are. So like. So l- let me let me see. Let me be clear. Uh, there's 37 creatures that die in the entire format. Half of those cards, I'd say about half of those cards, are strictly unplayable. So okay. you're never going to want to kill them. Um, some of them, they don't die on the f- front half of the card, but they do die on the second half of the card. I love the flavor that the red angel survives it by one. She again, survives it by one. Again, that nine, that nine toughness is so, so perfect. It's funny. That's really funny. Um, and then, 
Some of the creatures are like one and two drops. So like, this is killing probably a, a solid seventy-five to eighty percent. It's an uncommon for a reason. Yeah, it's a good card. It's a good card. Next up is spiteful motives. Four mana. Um, flat. Oh, it's a flash enchantment. Those are interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, enchanted creature gets plus three plus zero oh, and has first strike. That's a pretty good combat trick. That's your guy is gonna kill the guy that they're blocking. Hopefully. And they're gonna live because they have first right. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, you get blown out with removal, but like uh, that's that's with pretty much all the combat tricks you get blown out with removal. It's a pretty. It, I think it's pretty high end combat trick. It's a combat. Yeah, I mean, yeah. As 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 combat tricks go, it's probably not the worst one you could have. Um, it's it is kind of clunky though. Four mana. Yes, it's expensive. But also, it's a permanent buff. Yeah. So like, that's for, I like yeah, I, I think that's that's decent in your aggro red decks. Next up is Stencia Masquerade. Three mana attacking creatures you control have first strike. Oh, it's an enchantment. <laughs> Whenever a vampire you control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. With madness so, for three. So last in the strats met uh, vampire mechanic, the plus one, plus one counter. They still have that. It's just not prominent. It's, uh, it's good for an enchantment. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. I, this, this, this is another one where I'm like, I don't be on. I don't um, think it's insane, but I think it's like a, it's like a seven. Yeah, I mean, I think you're gonna have so like clearly the abilities work well with each other because if you're if your guys are not are like good first striking creatures that you're just gonna be able to get through with them without like eating their team, they're not gonna block, which means you get the plus one plus one counter, which makes it subsequently harder to block. And when you take over, yeah, all right, take it, yeah. Take it, take it. Um, I don't know. I think that th I'm yeah, I'm still. Uh, medium on Stencia's Masquerade. I'm not saying it's great. I wasn't yeah, saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's not great either. Like, it's not good or playable. I'm just like, I don't know yet. I'll have yeah. to play with the card. Um, Next card, Mad Prophet. This is a reprint. Uh, it's four, is it really? Yeah. It's, it, I think it's been a couple times. At the least once. Art's a, great. Like, that looks like a photograph of a real fucking hobo. Yeah, he's like, super <laughs> mad in property. Yeah. He, I, I love this art. It's super great. Um, Four minute two two Haste. Tap it to discard a card and then draw a card. Good madness enabler. Yeah. Um, solid filtering effect. Uh, yeah. Four mana juju. I think it's fine. Yeah, um, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm willing to play you know, two of these in my deck. Uh, sure. Yeah, good card. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking to first pick it, but no. Fine card. Um, next up, we have Village Messenger. It's a one mana, one one human werewolf with haste. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform Village Messenger into a 2-2 with uh, Menace. And then it has the Werewolf ability if two or more spells are cast, transform back into your 1-1. One -one. So, it's a 1-drop. Oh. Is it boring? It's boring. It's boring. It's so, boring. I, obviously, it's it, without it on turn 1, this card is trash. Yeah. It's so horrible. On turn one, though... On turn um, one, it's pretty good. It's all right. You hit him for one, then it flips into a 2-2 two -two menace. And then until yeah, yeah. until they play two spells. The thing is, when they, when they play two spells, this card doesn't exist anymore. Because it's a 1-1. One -one. It's boring. It's, I don't, it's I don't boring. have anything I don't to say about this card. I don't like it. It's also it. pretty medium. I don't think I'm... I mean, unless I'm hyper-aggressive, no. I don't see me, myself playing this in many decks. Exactly. Um, This one I see myself playing in a lot of decks. Uh... Breakneck Rider. Have you seen this? This art. It's super funny. What's so weird about the art? Um, well, you're gonna see it on the next one. It's Breakneck break, Breakneck Rider. Uh, one to red. One and two red for a three three. At the beginning of your upkeep, if no spells were cast, transform it into. Isn't the isn't it like neck breaker? Neck breaker. Neck the break neck rider. The break riding his necks. horse into neck breaker with his horse with a broken neck. Oh, the horse yeah. is in the art. Yeah, the horse is in the art, and he killed it. So he turns into a, a werewolf while he's riding his horse, and he just snaps his neck and just keeps going. Yeah, <laughs> it's tied for the saddest art in the set. This, <laughs> What's sad about this? It's he also he broke the horse's neck. Fuck the horse. I like animals. <laughs> 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 so anyway, so this is it's a three mana three three first of all in red, which is that's a good card. Yeah, uh, in red that's that's pretty it, hard to come by. Strong. And then on the flip side of it, Jesus Christ, it's a four three attacking creatures you control get plus one plus zero and trample. <laughs> so it's five three when it attacks, and all of your other creatures get plus one plus zero and trample. This is and then it has a werewolf. Ability this is a premier uncommon as well. Premier uncommon. Yes, your your red decks are gonna love this. 
It's just super aggressive, super good. Yeah. Yes. All the yes. Um, let's see. Next we have Incorrigible Youths. Ah, to be young again. Olivia <laughs> all day with your flavor text. All right. Um, five mana for three haste. Vampire. Madness for three. Three mana. It says three mana for three haste. Yeah. This The curve of... If Air you're playing the Madness deck, this is a real good one. Well, not only in, in draft, but I think in constructed as well. I think this is It's very possible. Straight. I think this is a four of in your in your vampire deck. Because it's just like you play your Air of Falcon Wrath and you play your you next turn you play this and attack it for seven. Wait, wait, wait. And that's probably What's a good the, one. For Air of Where does it fit on the curve though? Three drop? Draw isn't that Drana's spot? Well, it's Drana's spot and Olivia's spot. Olivia, oh, Olivia's three mana. I thought Olivia was four mana. No, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll I mean, talk about Olivia later. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about Olivia later on. Um, it's it's definitely play. standard playable. I just don't know if it can edge its way in with the with the the two big girls being in its same being in its spot. She may even be better than Drama. Whoa! It's it like it's so beefy. <laughs> it's a four three with haste. Like it's I, I don't know. Oh, it's oh, better. Maybe I, uh, I, I can I, see I, what I, you're saying. Actually, it's I don't so know. big and so fast. Like it, it's one of those things where like you play against the perfect curve of the vampire deck, and like that wasn't fair. No, like, yeah. I, I feel like I was playing. A different I didn't game. play. I was magic. playing like you I was. Played magic. I feel like I was playing I modern there. Like, that's, <laughs> that's standard. Here's another. It's so obviously good in draft, right? Yes. Yeah, I would play a five mana four three haste without the madness for three. Yeah. So I'm I'm playing the the four three for three mana. Haste is always so scary and limited because like it's absurd. The game the games get late and you're like, you know if your opponent has the hasty guys in their deck and you just can't you can't math out anything when it's like oh I'm at six life he's at five life. But he's got the fucking haste creatures in his deck, so what am I gonna do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like, and then they don't they play around it, and they don't draw it, and you just lose anyway because you played around it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's it's really yeah. All right, here's another one that could see get, that's probably gonna see play in the in the vampire constructed deck, and also the the draft deck. Uh, Ravenous Bloodseeker, two mana for a one three vampire berserker. Uh, activated ability, discard a card, it gets plus two minus two until end of turn. It's Aqua Miva. If anyone remembers Aqua Miva. Uh, do you do you know what Aqua Miva is? It, do it's, I not? What, what it's is it not It's the same Aquamiba? thing as this basically. It's it, it was yeah, I it think, was I think it was, I know what Aqua Miva is. It's back in the madness days of uh Baskin Re well, and Wild Mongrel. Yeah. You played a, a one three for two yeah. that you could discard a card and switch its power and toughness. Yeah. So this is basically yeah, the same card good. that you couldn't like you can't do it multiple times unless you pump up its uh, power toughness. But, again, this is a two-mana discard outlet. Uh, it usually has three power. Um, then, yeah, solid card. Yeah, I'm, for I'm, sure. I'm always going to be playing this in my Vampire's deck. Premier Uncommon for them. Yeah. Um, here's here's another one of these wonky cards with the Devils. Yay, wonky Devil things. Do weird four things. Mana, four mana instant. Dance with the Devils. Uh, put two 1-1 one, one red Devil creature tokens on the battlefield. Well, they have when this creature dies, it deals one damage to our creature. It's the same thing, and I still think it's mediocre. This one is an instant. Oh, it's an instant. That's a lot better. Well, and it also costs four mana, but you get half of them. So you get half of the tokens. It's so much better at instant speed, though. It is. It that, is. Well, the effect is obviously much better. You block better. with them, and then they pop, pop. Well, I mean, you, you block with the four of them anyway. And then what, were they going to not attack? Pop. They're just you're not going to attack. And you're... Okay. Yeah, they'll Regardless, figure it, out. They'll figure it out. Regardless, I think it's going to be a lot harder to play around than what you think it's going to be. Um, yeah, this card. I mean, you play it and kill their two two twos. See, I don't. Think or you play I, it and kill their. I don't four, think four. the one that's six mana is hard to play around because I think I think the person that's not playing that card has like a six six flyer or something way more impressive on that. Why does everyone have a six six flyer? Everyone. <laughs> everyone has a six six flyer. Good show. <laughs> uh, I think it's a good card. I think it's a fine, a fine red uncommon. Probably it's not amongst the the best red un uncommons, but it's close. I mean, I'm 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 always playing this card in my deck. Usually, um, yeah. Usually, always. Usually, I'm always playing at least one in my red deck. All right, here's here's another good uncommon, lightning axe. This is a reprint. One red for an instant. Uh, as an additional cost to cast lightning axe. 
either discard a card or pay five mana. So, I mean... Discard a card. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's a madness enabler. Uh, Lightning Axe deals five damage to target creature. Really it's it's one mana deal five. Yeah, or two or for, six mana deal five. It's two for one yourself. Kinda. But it's sometimes. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's you do two for one yourself to kill a creature. But sometimes you don't two for one yourself and you still kill the creature because you're playing madness cards in your deck. Yeah. And like it, it's like it's it. a super cheap like uh this Art's is really cool. No. This is an, another one of your premier red comment red on comments. Convicted killer. Look how fucking creepy this guy looks. He is pretty creepy. Um, three mana at the beginning of your upkeep if no spells were cast. Transform him. Oh, he's a two-two on his human side. And then you flip him. I think he's just a vanilla four-four. Into a vanilla four-four. Mm, yep. Yep. So you want to talk about boring fucking cards? This is absurd. Absurdly boring. I have nothing to say about this card. I play it in my draft deck sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's okay. So it's pretty, boring. It's pretty, it's flush out the curve. You play it. Maybe. Some cards are boring. Yep. <laughs> Gat Straff Arsonists. He's he's on fire. He's Gat Straffing it. He's Straffing them Gats. <laughs> This is a 5-4 vanilla, uh, for except... 5. Yeah, and then... And it transforms into it a 6-5. Transform, transforms into 6-5, I think it's like, Menace? With Menace. Ah, so another boring card. It's, it's But a better boring card. Probably. I, probably. I mean, it does cost 5. You're not going to play 10 of these in your deck, yeah. you know? Um, fine card. Um, yeah. Oh my god, this next one is really boring, too. It's Dual Shot. Oh, yeah. Dual shot deals <laughs> one damage divided. One damage one divided damage as you choose. <laughs> as you choose. Dual shot deals one damage to each of up to two target creature. One damage divided as you choose. Yep. Boring. It's boring. It's playable. One. It's playable. It's one mana. It's an instant. Eh. Uh, eh. I think it's a sideboard card. Yeah. Blood Mad Vampire is three mana for a four one. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on it. That's a very weird effect for a four one. Yes. Oh, but it's madness for two. It does madness for two. So it's pretty good. Then yeah. That's okay. The, the, yeah, I mean, the madness not... makes that card. Otherwise it's just it's so it dies to a swift breeze. Yeah. So like eh, that I don't think that's one of your more constructed playable God, uh, no. vampires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danny Sex Bang. Is it Danny Sexbang? He's so Danny, insolent. Look at Danny, Danny Sexbang. It is. <laughs> <laughs> insolent Neonate is Danny Sexbang. Just kind of looks like him. Um, he has he's a one one for one with menace. Discard a card. Sacrifice him. Draw a card. Pretty boring. I don't know. He's pretty boring. He's not that boring. And he can draw you a card, but he's a one one for one. Well, he's a one one for one with menace though. So how many times are you double blocking him? He's basically a love axe on turn one. You're not like getting through with him that many times. Huh? What? I think you get through with him three times. They're gonna time. really double block your one one. They'll just take one. They're probably just gonna keep taking one until you realize, eh, I have a madness card now. I'm gonna sacrifice him and draw a card and, and play my madness card. I think this is a reasonable card for the madness deck. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I don't have much to say about that okay. one. It's fine. Um, You're wrong. Three mana for Hal Pack. You just like it because it's Danny Sex Bag. I also like it because it's Danny Sex <laughs> Um, three mana for a Hal Pack Wolf. Three three. Can't block unless you control another wolf or werewolf. It's a three three for three. Again, a very boring card. Very, pretty boring. Red in this set is boring. It seems You're pretty done. boring. The comments seem pretty boring. Yeah, three mana, three three dope. Red doesn't often get those. That's pretty good. It's I mean, pretty, it is pretty good. I mean, it's it's restricting on blocking, but again, red's your more aggressive color. You're, yep. you're probably not attacking, with, blocking with them very often anyway. Um, good card. Yeah. Play them. I'd play yeah. five of them in my deck. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, then they don't have their downside. If you have five of them, uh, yeah. You got. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying I'd play pretty much any amount of those. They're good cards. Senseless rage, two mana. Uh, enchant creature is. for plus two plus two madness for two because it's super boring. It That's super why. boring. Wow, this is a barely <laughs> playable. It's a twenty third. It's super boring. The art's cool. The end. Yeah, 
You don't have anything to say about no, that. No, no, no. Okay. This is, this is a <laughs> Rush of adrenaline, one man, a target creature gets plus two, plus one, and gains trample. <laughs> We're snoozing over here. I am so tired of red. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's, one, it's better than the last. It's one. it's it's one mana combat trick. You Red's know. my red. I'm declaring red my least favorite color in this set. Really? Dear God, I'm See, declaring I think it's red it's, it's reasonably good cards. They're just kind of vanilla. They're not fun. They're not. Yeah, they don't do anything yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> Well, some of the some of the unco- like the the cards that make you the fight mythic, yourself the and with, like okay, yeah, that one's cool. The mythic with a fucking nine toughness. It's like, just the commons that are, that are the commons. Spot. Red's commons are really boring. Reduced to ashes. Here's a common with really good looking art. It reduces the ashes. Deals five damage to target creature. If that creature would die, exile it for five dam- for five mana. It is very good. Yeah, yeah. it's um. I think this it's is not the best. Is it? It's, it's five the, mana. Or sorcery. It's sorcery. It's five mana. Do you put like a fourth or, or fifth pick to me? What do you, yeah, yeah. Where do you rank this on in comparison to Throttle? Throttle's. This deals. It, Throttle's five mana as well, right? Yeah, they're both five mana. Obviously, instinct, it's instant versus sorcery. But this is my out. instinct says Throttle's a little bit better. I think this is a little bit better because Exile is pretty relevant in this set. That's With true. all the things that like either come back from the graveyard or, or I, do something when they I hit the look graveyard. back fondly on throttle as a good card, and this is just a thing. I feel like it's just like my brain just being like, "Yeah, throttle's cool." See, I know okay. throttle. Thr- <laughs> okay, I have bad experiences with throttle because it's Lash of the Whip, and I hated Lash of the Whip because I hated Theros. I so. hated Theros too. I don't remember what last so, whip is. I don't remember. It was it's card. throttle. It's the same card. It's the same card. Oh as yeah, I do remember it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever. So yeah. I, I think that's actually slightly better. Tormenting voice is More two, two man. Is it really? Don't know this card. You don't know tormenting voice? Jesus Christ! What set was it in? Every, every set. It's been reprinted seven times as an addition. Let me read the damn card. As an additional cost, I guess. <laughs> discard a card. Draw two cards. I don't remember this card. It's in every set. It's fine. It's not bad. I'd it's play it. I'd uh, play you it could, my draft deck. You, you could think of worse madness name, boys. Um, also, the art's fucking awesome. Pictures are talking to her. <laughs> the voices <laughs> are coming from the pictures. It's crazy. Uncaged Fury is... That's a really sweet name. It's also a sweet card. Three mana, instant. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and double strike until end of turn. That's a finisher. That's super. Like, I'm going to die at this card so many times, and I'm going to kill people with this so many times. Like, it, like imagine. I want, no, I want the situation. I want the situation where somehow, because it gives plus one, plus one, and double strike, I want the situation where I have six mana. Two of these in my hand, and playing two of them makes it lethal. Why are we playing two of them? Okay, so because like, it gives it plus, plus one, one plus, plus one. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm thinking of it in conjunction with other removals, uh, other combat tricks. So like, you play this with the um, we just we just went over it. The one red, uh, target creature gets plus two plus one and and trample, yeah. and then you give it plus one plus one double strike. That's plus three trample double strike. I mean, you play that on a two two. That's ten damage. This one is it's scary. It's it's really scary. It's really like I think this is maybe your one of your better red commons. Oh yeah. Like it's pretty innocuous, but I don't know. The the card's gonna end a lot of games. I like it. Um, next up is Hawking Devil. You put boring, it on this card. Boring. Put it on this okay, card, yeah. and then you lose immediately. Lose it's a five-two. <laughs> because you're playing a five-two for four. It's I really would nice. if I have a, a bunch of those. I would. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it wrong. just ends the game. Next. Uh, yeah. Five. Fire. Middle of five two is boring. Pyre Hound, exactly. four mana for a two three trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus one plus one counter. So on. super prowess. Good card. Trample. Yeah. Good card. It's good. It's good. In I right mean, you deck. need to trigger it one time for become a 3 4 trample. Yeah. And then any other combat tricks makes that, like, it's really good. I like that. Next up is this Volver, another good card. Volver and Duelist. Four mana for a 3 2 with haste. Whenever it enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Ooh, can't block on a haster. Can't block on a haster. Hey, I don't think I've ever seen haster. that. Yeah. They're that's usually, good. They, it's usually, like, that's the card, the one with. 
Is this three two eighty? Feels Coleman or three two eighty? Feels like an uncommon. It's it's, it's a common. No, and it's also a vampire. I know. Yeah, good card. That one's good. That that's it's really very good. solid card. Here's your best red combo. Fiery Temper. Yeah. One and two red. Deals three damage to target creature or player with madness for one. One mana. That's the best common in red. I think it's the best common in the set. Maybe. <laughs> I think it really is. Like, it's, 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 I mean, obviously you're playing it and you're not madness decks, which, I mean, if you're playing red, you're likely to have some sort of madness in the blurs. And if you're playing, if you're playing madness, that card's just absurd. It's lightning bolt. So, and lightning bolt is ridiculous. Next up is Structural Disorientation. Four mana for a sorcery. Exile, target artifact or land. And it deals two damage to that permanence controller. Bad card. I like the art, I like the implications, and I like the flavor text, but it's a bad card. Yes, it is. It's bad. Right. And so, feel free play to sideboard it. this in if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ember Eye Wolf. Two mana for a 1 2 haste with bad fire breathing. Oh, well, it's actually super fire breathing. Yeah. It's plus two. Yeah, uh, plus so you pay two to give plus two plus that one to him. Sure. Good card's fine. It's all right. Yeah, it's, it's as a two drop, you could do worse. Like, the fact that uh, usually, like, fire, fire breathing's so much worse than, uh, than like, shade abilities, like the yeah. plus the um, plus one plus one. Yeah. But that can trade with anything, and it's a good card. It's fine. I'd mm. probably play a couple. Magmatic Chasm. Two mana. Another Creatures retreat. without flyers can't block this turn. That's boring. It's boring. It's okay, <laughs> I guess. Sanguinary Mage? Sanguinary. Sanguinary! She's hot. She's got She's boobs. super hot. And boobs. How many vampire wizards bring, do you can, know? When you bring up the pictures... Introduce me bring, to them. bring up the pictures, can you put it, like, right here? So it's, like, getting in there? No. Getting in there? I won't. You know, I hope I'm, like, poking <laughs> her in the eye right now. <laughs> You're gonna be doing something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a 3-1 for 2 no, with she prowess. Isn't. She's a 1-3 <laughs> Oh, that would be a lot better. She's a 1-3 for 2 with prowess. She's okay. She's alright. She's a vampire. Um, yeah. Uh, if that's a relevant creature deck. That's your last red common, folks. That's the end of this one. Yeah. Red is its usual, you know, relatively decent self, but... Again, so super vanilla, though. So boring. Like, in a set with the, where the flavor is exploded, this is actually pretty... And none pretty, of it's in pretty the red not, well, it's, it's all in the red uncommons. Yep. And, and, like, there's just... The red commons were pretty boring. Next. On to the next one. See ya in green.